Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with T. Today we are going to create our fourth flutter tutorial for basic flutter crash course as we are in section one and we are going to create our fourth video which is the flutter app part two. In this we are going to create widgets a very useful and the powerful widgets for any flutter application or you can see a basic widgets that every flutter application have to use while creating any application. Widgets that we are going to cover in this video are the first one is the material app widget and after that we are going to use the scaffold widget inside the material app and inside the scaffold we will create our app bar for the app bar widget and then after creating the app bar we will jump toward our text and the text span widget so first we will go through the text widget and then we will go through our text span widget so let's quickly get started with our tutorial open android studio and we are inside the project we created in our previous tutorial and in the previous tutorial we just created this simple code right in front of you we learn how to create a flutter project and we go through the basics of flutter structure on the left side of your screen and then we jump to the coding section and we created two widgets center and the text widget and we also learn how the flow of flutter works what is this main function how this run app basically works so i suggest you to please watch previous video if you are new so let's get started with the today's tutorial today we are going to cover first the material app and basically this material app is again another gateway that allow our application to use all the material widgets or the components of the material like we have imported the package here for the material so i'm going to press ctrl x to cut it from here and now i'm going to add material app and again material app is a widget that basically this run app requires so we pass a widget here everything in the flutter is a widget so again this is a widget and it is representing our whole application so i am going to use material app only once not again and again in the project so basically this is representing my application this is the application we created in our previous video and when i am going to do this you can see at the top there is no name of the application basically so this is the first thing we are creating our application from scratch so we are going to start with this thing and then we will move toward our whole application and when i'm going to talk about the chrome you can see app name is right there so let's first create this app name and we can create this app name by material app only and let's give it the title and title is going to be my flutter app you can just hover over any flutter widget to get a glance of what we can do with that widget so we have a bunch of options we have the home widget like we have the child in other layout widgets this is basically a child but it's written as home and in here you can see we have a title of the application which is simply written a title then we have a bunch of other functions root functions and then and then the main thing that material app provides is the theme dark theme light theme we can create custom themes and we can also set our current theme to the system theme by defining theme mode dot system this is what we can create with this material app so let's for this tutorial keep it simple define its home home of the application means what is inside this application so for now in this home let's just paste our center and the text widget we created in our previous tutorial and let's see how our application looks like okay now our application is running you can see debug mode at the top right corner and you can see the hello world with the yellow underlines you are using the material app the material components this text is now the material but there is some something missing that we need to define okay now again i am going to cut this center and text again from here and this time i am going to create a scaffold widget basically this scaffold widget holds lot and lot of things so this scaffold is very 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 useful in creating any application using flutter so when i am going to hover over this scaffold widget it contains an app bar that we are going to create right now then it has again a body widget it requires a widget this means that again it requires a child by using a body name then we have a floating action button floating action button animator locator then we have a drawer 
एंड ड्रॉर बॉटम नेविगेशन बार बॉटम शीट बैकग्राउंड कलर एंड बंच ऑफ अदर थिंग्स ओके नाउ इन साइड दिस कैफोर्ड लेट्स क्विकली विदाउट डूइंग एनी थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन इट्स बॉडी एंड गोइंग टू पेस्ट सेंटर एंड टेक्सट विजिट यू कैन सी वेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेस कंट्रोल एस टू हॉट रिलोड इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली रिलोडिंग अवर एप्लीकेशन डायरेक्टली टू द इमुलेटर और टू योर डिवाइसिस वाई बिकॉज यू कैन सी दिस थंडर एरो ओवर हेयर इट्स इज सेंग दैट इट्स अ फ्लटर हॉट रिलोड हॉट रिलोड विल नेवर वर्क वेन यू आर वर्किंग इन साइड दिस मेन फंक्शन so this works when we are uh, when in future we will work we will be working on stateless and stateful widgets because it works on the tree of flutter and clearly in here you can see in this main function we cannot completely add our whole application inside this main function so in our next video we are going to talk about this so for now let's uh, click on this hot restart it is going to reload our errors and also this main app code as well Okay here we go now you can see that error is gone our background is white our text is in black with hello world written there without any yellow lines so this means that now we are working with the material widgets very perfectly let's jump back to the coding but this is not our application so every application has an app bar so we have to write app bar inside this scaffold and to create the app bar we have to write app bar remember that every widget in flutter starts with a capital letter key of the widget this is a key and this is the value this key will always remain the same so you can see this app bar starts with a small a and this app bar starts with a capital a and every widget starts with curly brackets when we hover over this app bar we have many options we can add leading this leading is a widget means we can add icon to it title of the app bar then we have actions space bottom elevation shadow shape background we have lot and lot of options for this tutorial let's add a title to this app bar now you can see i'm i'm trying to add a string title here or a character here but it's giving me an error but in here it's not giving me an error so how to find that we have to pass the widget or a text string so we have over over the material app and in here we have to find the title and you can see it's written type is string so i passed a string over here but when i hover over the app bar in here you can see the title is a widget so i have to pass text widget here to define the title and let's say it's a dashboard okay to make any text upper case or lower case we just have to after this text we can write dot to upper case and it will turn whole text to upper case okay in here you can see our text is in upper case dashboard and we have an app bar on our application now let's play with our text we first created our material app then we created our scaffold then we created our app bar and now it's time to play with the text in here you can see we created a simple text hello world it's not going to work like hello world sometimes we need the first letter should be small and others sometimes bold italic underline colorful so how we how we are going to write those things so basically this text so first try to understand that we are using the material app material design we don't need to define this text direction anymore i'm going to remove it now inside this text widget we have a style element here in this style i'm going to use text style again remember this text style is a widget and it has bunch of options i'm going to hover over it we can change color of the text background color font size font weight font style letter spacing word spacing height and much more options let's say i'm going to change size of this font so it's a font size we can give it in double we can also give it in the integers but recommended is to provide in double let's increase the size to clearly see the difference let's run it again okay now you can see the size has been improved from smaller to larger okay now let's try to add something more in the text with this simple text we cannot achieve our goal okay let's remove this and instead of simple text 
we are going to use text dot rich we have only one option so it's a text dot rich and inside we can create text span okay in here again I'm going to create a widget widget will start with the capital so it's a text span in this text span we have very few options very useful options and the first is going to be text itself and the text is going to be my I'm not going to add anything else and inside comma okay in here you just have to notice that I am going to write other text inside this text span so it's it has a children's many children's with the square brackets now in this square bracket I am going to add more text spans as much as I want you can see press ctrl plus D to duplicate any line of code so you can see I have three text spans so let's design the first one my and again it has a text text is going to be flutter comma by remaining inside this curly brackets I'm again going to add the style same as we did to our text and let's say this text style first increase the font size 50 again let's increase its font weight font weight dot bold will work for us and now to duplicate this text span control plus D and this time this is my flutter app size will be 30 and I'm not going to make it bold but let's change its color to change the color in flutter we have another widget which is the colors widget it's not color it's colors with a capital C colors dot we have bunch of options go for the blue one to align the code as you can see I did not add any comma here so when I'm going to align my code press ctrl alt L so it's going to align like this not in a single line but when press ctrl Z and now this time I'm going to add commas at the end of each line and now when I'm going to press ctrl alt L and you can see my code has been beautifully divided into single lines by use of this comma okay now we are inside this app bar and let me give it a background color again we will write colors dot blue gray maybe okay we again have to hot restart and here we go you can see our text has been changed the background color of our app bar has been changed okay so that's it for this video if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe the next video is going to be very 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 useful i suggest you to please stick together to watch the next video so that's it for this video thank you for watching take care allah Hafiz.